And new at 5.30, shocking and disturbing admission from a former special ed teacher. She confessed to physically abusing children in her classroom. As 7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards explains, parents are worried that jail time does not do justice. I never meant to hurt anybody or cause pain to their family in any way. Shirley Thowen stood before a judge this morning telling him she was remorseful for her horrific actions. I am filled with anguish every waking hour. I cannot stop thinking about my horrible crimes and have lost countless nights of sleep as a result of this. The former special needs teacher admitted she abused students at Thomas Edison Elementary in Port Huron. She was even caught on camera dropping and kicking a child in the head twice. According to police, she was also caught stepping on kids. One of her victim's parents addressed the court today. When this day comes and they've been hurt or mistreated, some people are lucky to be able to work through their tragedies and mistrust. My son Hudson does not have that luxury. He is only four years old and is unable to communicate. Since October, to the best of my recollection, Hudson did not want to go to school. When I drove him to school, I spent 10 to 20 minutes prior just trying to get him into the car. Thoen told the court she has taught special needs students for 36 years. She called her actions deplorable and that she deserved a punishment. But the damage she did to these victims may never be repaired. I ended up with the horrible realization that I cannot protect my kids from people that will hurt them. The idea that they can be safe in school. I am left knowing that people can emotionally, verbally, and even physically hurt my son, and I quite possibly will never know because he can never tell me. That one was sentenced to 93 days in jail with 73 days suspended upon completion of probation and is never allowed to be around children again. In Port Huron, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News.